Hi everyone, in this video I will be presenting the Tamron SP70-300 DIVC USD, which is this lens here. If we look at it like this, it doesn't necessarily look like much, but uh, let me take the lens cap off and put the hood that comes with it and we extend it. And as you can see, this is uh, quite a decent sized lens. The optics on it are really good. I'll be doing some more tests uh, over the next few weeks and I'll post the results online. And I'll post some pictures at the end of this video with along with some 100% crop so you can see the image quality you can expect from this one. The uh, focal length of this is 70 to 300 millimeters. And it's a uh, really good, and I use it on the T2i, which is a crop factor of 1.6, and that allows me to zoom in quite far away. And uh, I usually take pictures of the bird feeder that you see behind me, and I've had really great results with it. And the other features it has, uh, but for the letters is uh, the SP is uh, for the top lenses that Tamron produces it's uh, their equivalent of the Canon L series in a way although this does not have the weatherproofing but the build quality even though it's plastic it seems to be very solid plastic and I'm sure it will last a very long time the other letters on it is DI which means it's optimized for digital cameras and um, in the case of the DI itself it works great on full frame cameras but also on crop factor cameras and then you have the VC which is the vibra vibration control and you have the switch on and off on the side here I don't know if you can see but I'll zoom in if needed and you have the autofocus switch on and off here. But the VC is the equivalent of the image stabilization from Canon. And they boast a four stop uh, vibration reduction. And from my tests, uh, it really makes a great difference. On videos, uh, it's even more no noticeable, but in photos, it makes quite a nice difference also. You can use much lower shutter speeds and still get away with it. So the aperture of f4 to 5.6 is not that bad. I would not call this a low light lens in any case, except maybe at uh, 70 millimeters with the f4 aperture and the vibration control that's a bit more usable. But at 300 millimeters and f5.6, it's still a bit rough in the darkness. You'll have to crank your ISO up, and that's the big disadvantage of this lens, I would say. For as far as weight goes, I think it's about 750 grams, which is uh, really not that bad. It balances well on the T2i, and I'm sure on the bigger cameras, there's no problems either and I can hold this all day and really don't get tired at all. Um, the next feature is ha it has is the USD, which is the ultra silent drive. And it's uh, like the ultrasonic motor, which means the focus is, the autofocus is really quiet on this lens and it performs really well, it's fast, it locks on really perfectly and I have no issues with it. I read on the forums that uh, some users have problems with theirs with uh, either front or back focus and or either completely soft focus in any case and uh, they've, uh, those that have returned it to Tamron have been able to get a good copy afterwards so the quality control might not be as good on the Tamron, but from what I hear, the customer service and the six-year warranty makes up for it quite nicely. 
and the price is much more affordable than the equivalent Canon lenses. So in the future videos I will compare it to another lens I have in the same range which is the Canon 75-300 to f4-5.6 to version 3 which uh, just as a disclaimer I really don't like that lens at all. I've been cursing for the last two years at it. The images are soft and all that but it's my comparison. It's what I have to compare with. And for other lenses in the same range, there's also Canon provides a 70 to 300, which is just a little bit more expensive, but the front element moves as you focus. So the Tamron is much better for that. You could put a filter in it and it will always stay in the same position, which does offer some other advantages. And the vibration control on the Tamron, I heard, is much better than the Canon one. And then Canon also has an L-series 70 to 300, which they released recently. And that one is great quality. From looking at different radios online, the image quality is very comparable to the Tamron lens. And, but the build quality of the Canon L is much sturdier. You have much more metal and things like that. But with the price difference of uh, between two and a half and three times more expensive, I would recommend the Tamron. So yeah, in the future, I'll be doing other tests such as the comparison from the how much of a difference does the VC do in videos and also difference in usability, the focus speed, and things like that. So if you're interested in seeing more, please hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll get uh, noticed as soon as I get a video out. Thank you for watching, and have a great day! In this first photo, you can see, uh, you can see the quality in the bricks is really amazing. This is an old rail station that was converted into a tourism office and again the crop is very lovely. Here's a moose I took a shot of uh, today and the close-up again is really great. And here's another angle and again I'll show a close-up and you know the quality this lens keeps is really amazing. And here's a little squirrel that I took a picture of, and here's the crop. And you can see all the little hairs on it, and it's so cute. And here's another shot of the squirrel, and another 100% crop picture. And here's a little yellow birdie, and a crop from that same picture. And finally, two little birdies with a crop on the right one.